This is my tutorial number four. It's a follow-up to tutorial three and this tutorial is called How to End a Game by Score or Time Limit. We have tutorial three on opened and tutorial three I controlled the ball by the arrow keys and as I hit the targets my score incremented by five and when all the targets were hit, everything stops. We're now going to be able to end the game when all the targets are hit. We're going to have a new layer, and that layer is going to be called Game Over. On the fourth frame, of that layer. We're going to insert a blank keyframe and we're going to put some text here. Open a text box. And we want that to be static text. There it is there. Static text. Very large font. And it's going to say game over you win you win because you have knocked out all the targets so down in our action script layer at the very end we're going to put in some script which will be typed in the box below so you can see it but type 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 and it says if total and total was the name of my score box where my numbers were kept if it equals 20 and it will equal 20 if all the targets I did go to and play frame 4 where we have our information now if we left it like that it would just keep starting over and over again so in that frame 4 game over tell it to stop double click and this should work Hit my targets one, two, three, four. Game over, you win. Now we want to be able to end the game if the if a time limit runs out. So in this layer, game over on number five frame, we're going to put a new blank keyframe. And here we'll put some more static text. And this will say, oh, let's do this in red because you lost the game. And we'll say, game over. Time is up. And put that where I like to center it. And for the same reasons, so it stops here in that same frame 5 stop now we're going to control the time and test the time on a movie clip we got to make and the movie clip here is going to be called time underscore movie clip and I'm going to be making a text box called time text and we're going to be putting some action code to control that time text. I have it set for 12 frames a second so that means if I put a blank keyframe in here on the 12th that means it makes this loop every second. Every second is going to make this loop. So in this frame 12 and we'll call this my time layer. This is my timer. You can use this little timer for all kinds of things. I'm going to put some action script type 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 again it's going to be in the message box below and this time text time underscore text is a text box we're going to make in a few minutes it's going to say the time text box will equal whatever it is minus one so each time it makes this loop it's going to subtract one from time text in order for it to make the loop we say when you get here Go back and play one to make that loop. Now, 
it's making the loop and we have to check to see if it's gone a certain number of times so action script paste 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 or type 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 if and when that time text equals zero and remember it's going to be counting down from 20 this parent this means go to scene one go to and play frame five which says you've lost the game all we need now is another layer and call that text layer and in that layer we're going to put my text box and this time it's going to be a smaller box around 28 type 28 28 28 around there I know that's good and this is going to contain my time that I'm counting down from and we're also going to put a another box same size that says time equals line them up now go back to this dynamic oh, that static text go back here we gotta make sure that this is a dynamic text because we wrote some script on it up here make it a dynamic text and what we called it was time underscore text now the next thing we got to do is put this on scene one let's go back to scene one and put a layer in called time on frame two insert a keyframe drag time in put it right under the score there it is and deal remove frame four you have to do it twice because frame five will shift shift down remove it let's test this out test. game is over time is up we did something wrong the time here should be set to 20 seconds scene one now let's test the movie test it out I won't hit all the targets 11 10 9 7 6 5 4 3 game is over time is up now the last thing we want to do is give you a chance to play the game again oh, if you win and you want to play the game again we'll make a button there's my button and I'm gonna use the larger to, wish to work with I'm going to write some text in here give it a grayish color and write P L A Y play A G A I M and let's drag that into there. Center it up a little bit, play a game. Select that whole new button, which we're going to make a button, modify, convert to symbol. Now it's going to be a button called again. the button and we want something to happen when that button is selected so I'm going to select the button it's an action script and this time we'll use this script assist here it gives me the choices of what I want I want to go to and play frame one that'll put me right back to where I was now copy this button go to frame 5 paste in place and when we do this it brings our action script with us now let's see if this one works 
we'll try it on the score. I can go back. And this time we'll let a time run out. any time any scores good luck hope you use this tutorial